Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So I wanted to do another what I wore in the week and I think you guys liked it. So I said I'll start throwing them in here especially because a lot of you guys do not follow me on Instagram. My new page is just starting so it's very low in numbers. I don't have a lot of followers which is okay but for those of you guys who are not on there I'm gonna come here with what I wore in the week. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm looking at my phone because I don't wanna miss anything. So what I wore on Monday was a pair of mango pants that are like three quarter pants um, trousers. And I had them on with my brown leather and suede Charles David boots with an, an MM LaFleur belt. I've showed you guys that belt before. That belt is amazing. It does run really small, but it's a really, really nice staple to have in your wardrobe. They do have it in black, but the black, the uh, buckle piece is silver. Um, if it was matte black, it would have been perfect. And the top is from, who is the top from? I always forget the name, Hoffman, something Hoffman. I'll put the name in it when I get it. Um, and I just kind of tucked it in. I don't know, I was going for kind of like a riding style that day <laughs> um you guys know i'm not really big on trends i don't buy all trends um so i just kind of wear what works with my body type so that's monday tuesday i have on this really old skirt that i purchased from one of those little i don't want to call it a bootleg site but one of those sites where it's just like it wasn't fashioned over like chic wish or something like that something like that and I had that skirt for a really long time. It's like a scuba material, but I like it because of the lines in it. And then I wore it with a um, aqua blazer. You guys have seen that blazer before. Um, I wanted to do something that would contrast the, the gray, so I wore the black, which was the opposite. And just a regular Zara bodysuit under there, some sheer text tights, and my Alexander Berman boots. Super simple. You know, like I said, I wear what, what works well with my body, not necessarily what everybody else is wearing. Because you guys know I'm tall. So, the third outfit. Let's get into this third outfit. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure that I'm not... Okay, so I did end up wearing a jacket with this. So, I have on some Zara pants. These are the Zara pants that I told you guys that are really long. They have the split hem, right? The only issue with the pants is that the crotch area is kind of long, so I may get my tailor to go in and like kind of cut it up and stuff for me. Um, and I have on my Sam Edelman pumps, the snakeskin ones, and I have on a, that is a Zara top. Um, it is crossbody, but I bought it when I was in New York City, so it never got to Atlanta, which is weird for me. And you guys know my jacket from, who's my jacket by? I always forget the brand of this jacket. Um, I'll pop in the name. I always forget. Um, but you guys, that jacket is 100% leather. It's super buttery. It's so nice. Um, if you got who remain, it's by remain. <laughs> um, if you guys can find that jacket, I have seen it in multiple like bright colors. It's a really nice jacket. Um, then on, let's see. That was okay. So that was Monday, Tuesday. That was Wednesday, Thursday. I did wear a pair of gap jeans that are barrel i have on my same alexander berman boots um and i have on a shirt that i bought from kohl's the shirt was so cute so i purchased it and my frankie shop faux leather coat it's oversized guys and the hat you guys have seen it it's old i sell it on my boutique i think i literally only have one left um so i kept it really really simple that day that hat is super small so if you do wear units it might not fit um, that was a Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> more Zara pants, guys. Um, these are the full length pants that do have the distress on the knees and the ankle area doesn't have like a hem or anything like that. So the hem is like rugged. Um, and then I have on my, actually I have on my blush and pink color snake skins from Sam Edelman. Um, the top is from... Zara. It's a regular button-up shirt. It's not oversized, but it does fit really nice. The jacket is M.M. LaFleur and the hat is from Brixton. That is the only hat with the exception of the one straw one that is natural color. 
that are nice like they came good you guys know my deal with the other ones <laughs> and that day i don't know i kind of looked and i had it buttoned up all the way to the top my shirt which i've never done but it kind of gave me like a i don't know like a i don't know like a cowboy look kind of i liked it so i did it and then the last day um so that was monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So Saturday, because I chilled out Sunday, um, I did wear my faux leather skirt from Mango. You guys know I have two of them. If you like for, um, pleated skirts, try Mango. They do not have like that weird smell to them and they are good quality. I actually really like the two that I have. I wish they would have had them in red because um, I definitely would have got it as well. The belt is from All Saints. The jacket is an old Kenneth Cole jacket, a uh, motorcycle jacket. I have three motorcycle jackets in black, the Frankie Shop one, which is oversized. Then I have the one from Alexander Wang. I think it's Alexander Wang, which is more of a tailored fit. Very nice jacket. You guys saw that in my last, um, what I wore in a week. And the top is an old Zara top that has shoulder pads and a little mock neck. Super simple and super cute. And on my feet, what do I have on my feet? I have on my, I always mess the names up, Mark Fisher boots. I love those boots, guys. Like, they're just a really nice pair of boots. I have them in two colors, but super simple. Um, I kept it really simple last week, but this is just to show you guys that you don't have to necessarily always wear trends to be stylish um yes trends are cool i don't always buy them i do buy certain pieces that i feel that can work with my wardrobe i've always been like this this is not something new not new at all but i am tall so i just i don't know i just never really wanted to look like everybody else i kind of just literally work with what goes with my body if i like it i buy it so i always recommend women to do that yes we have influences out here but they shop and buy clothes that fit them properly, right? You can take a little inspiration, but you can't really copy their style. So, that is what I wore in a week, guys. Like I said, it seems like you guys do like them, and I appreciate it. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY, and my blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And if you stay to the end of this video, comment Coco. We see you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.